Hello everybody, I'm Matthew Snow and Summer Hex and welcome back to the final season of Manager of Legends. It's not going to be the end of this little universe, no it isn't. I've got big things planned if I can work it out right with the in-game editor. Um, I'm not going to spoil what's going to happen, that'll be for probably the last episode of this series to kind of promote the new one coming up. But yeah, we've got the final three air episodes of Manager of Legends. This is the third to last one. Then we have the penultimate one uh, in a few days time. And then the final ever episode a few days after that. So if you are looking forward to this series ending, uh, or you are ha you've been around and you've enjoyed the journey so far give this video a like i want as many likes as we can get before the end of this series the end of this save uh well not save but series you can also subscribe to the channel as well if you are someone who's just found this channel out uh if you have you can go watch how many 50 odd previous episodes however many they've been across the course of the year you can also hit the bell as well for mobile notifications whether you are a returning viewer who's already subscribed or someone who's literally just clicked that subscribe button now that i mentioned there and also check out my socials down in the description below but yeah let's get into the episode so we're on the 2nd of june uh, i have tried to do the season review it's not even popped up this time um again for second year in a row so it's glitched out again so i can't show it however since from last time to now i have asked the board if they could purchase the stadium which they have done and if they can expand the stadium which they have done so they built the stadium and then the stadium's gonna be up by 10,000 seats um, I don't know how much it's on now. That reads as 10,000, I doubt it is. I reckon, yeah, it'll be about 50,000, I reckon. So that's good. And yeah, hopefully that'll make us go to the next big step for when we leave and whoever takes over, they have a better, better fan base. Uh, to be fair, the fan base is already probably the best it can be because we are now worldwide rep because of winning the Champions League last episode. Uh, the other thing to win now in France is the Coupe de France and hopefully we can do it this year. Um, but yeah, we finished in the end first undefeated season. Um, if you want the tactic that I used, I called it Hex Spicy Salsa. Uh, whether salsa could even be spicy, I think it's spicy sauce. Um, but I thought salsa, spicy salsa sounded better. So yeah, it's called Spicy Salsa. So if you want to try that out, just tell me in the comment section and I'll put it in the, uh, up on Steam or you can download it for free on my Patreon uh, without having to subscribe for anything or any of that stuff. Yeah, um, this tactic is very, very good. Now we all have to do for the final season is to go through the transfers. So I don't know what will happen. I don't think we've even been given a budget yet, um, but hopefully we'll do good third football has been better than the one at Napoli um, so hopefully you'll do good this time again so transfers up to the first game of the season which will is the like Super Cup for France I forgot what it's called uh, trophy there's champions uh, it's against Leon who of course beat us in the Coupe de France final um, but yeah the transfers from the end of last season only one ended up leaving Lewis Breyer uh, who he hated me at least I think he hates me uh, yeah he's distant I think he wasn't the right fit for us uh, Schalke he did really well in the Bundesliga top division of Germany and all that stuff the season beforehand he joined us when Vincenzo Braun was the better striker so he was always going to be a squad player and he got unhappy so quickly and when he did play he was god awful didn't even look like scoring um, in any of his games 6.55 in four games in the league and 6.1 in a continental cup game so yeah so you're for champions league he was awful 
he really was and the 44 million pound wasted thankfully we got 33 million pound back uh, up front and over the course of a few years or something like that and uh, we also have a potential cost going up to 46 million which hopefully I think that's if he plays 20 games or something like that so hopefully he plays those 20 games and then it won't be a waste we'll have got two million pound profit yeah he was the only one to leave towards the end of last season and the only one to join is Zarko Mavrinovic uh Majinovic. now you might remember him from our time at napoli so at napoli he with the under that horrible direct football that we had um he sold him for 44 million to porto when we were really bare bones when we had hardly any quality in the squad it was all like younger players and we were overperforming and because he overperformed the third forward said, said you know I'm going to sell it uh, so he went to Port for 44 million he had four really good seasons there well three and a half uh, and now he's at Lille uh, for three, four, 34.5 million so a loss for Porto uh, a bit more than what Napoli paid for but yeah um Nice to see him back, and he was, he's already acquainted with me, he's acquaintance with me because of our time at Napoli together. So yeah, that is all good. Now, into the new season, and um, Dario Parra was let go on a free transfer to Porto. I forgot how good he was, it doesn't even say how good he was. Um, to be honest, I don't remember. <laughs> it must have been good if Porto went in for him. But yeah, Boncom Pagni also went to Auger. On a free transfer, Andriano, uh, and Andriano uh, Pasaricic has gone to El Marquia. I think that is Qatar. Yeah, it's Qatar. Um, he's gone to them on a free transfer. And Carson Abach, bro, has gone to Midland, um on a free transfer as well. And then we'll end out some players such as Luke. Gomez McClellan, who is a youngster. I wanted to use him this year because look at his uh, current ability. I thought that was really good for a player of 18 years old. I haven't been able to use him previously. He's been two and a half star for the past year. But I couldn't use him because he was Northern Ireland. Came from my youth academy, but didn't have any like European Union nationality. So he wasn't Irish, it was just Northern Ireland dead on. And so we've been waiting three years, or however long it is, for him to get French nationality. And he finally got it, and then we've loaned him out to Wolfsburg. <laughs> and I wanted to use him for this final season, but okay. Benito has also been loaned out. Um, Barthelemy has also been loaned out. Two players that were never going to be good enough. And we also saw had Yasmin Salimovic. Uh, he was unhappy that he wasn't a regular starter. He also came up to me that he said he wanted to leave permanently because he had achieved or he'd been done everything at the club or something like that um so yeah he was our first first goalkeeper uh the season previously but the se last season he wasn't because of salgado i think um so i've got the yeah, natural salgado um so yeah al hilal paid 11.5 million for him so he has gone to al hilal in saudi arabia and then people that joined giovanni campbell he was on loan last season with us he joined us permanently uh, as per the loan deal um, we also signed Luigi Albertani who was guaranteed in January last year um, Michael Beck joins us for £250 because he had a um, he was on like a non-contract uh, at Salzburg because his contract had run out but he hadn't left the club permanently so we just paid £250 for him um, and yeah I don't know how we got it for two hundred fifty pound, but okay. Um, considering it must have only been a two-year contract, man, and we just snatched him off on the cheap as soon as we could. Um, but yeah, he was—he's he, been in the MLS, and uh, not played many times in the MLS, mostly for North Texas, which I think are Dallas' second side. And then he went to Lask in the second league of Austria. I uh, didn't play the first year, but played a lot of the second year then. 
Salzburg played him and he was kind of back up for them. Uh, he'll be coming in as a backup for us because of Salimovic's um, sale. I'd like a second goalkeeper that would be better, but we also need a third goalkeeper because the current third goalkeeper is a youngster, he's one and a half star. Uh, at 20 years old or something like that along those lines and he's even been given back up this youngster on his contract um, but yeah we need another goalkeeper so hopefully we can get one and also Oscar Almanza who joined us as a new centre back right back um, Mexican player coming in from Crystal Palace who we didn't have from, uh, when we l were last at Crystal Palace uh, he was at Man United when we were at Crystal Palace. But yeah, he started at Pachuca, played a load of games in fourth season with them, then moved to Man U, was always a fringe player, uh, got games at Everton Championship and Sunderland in the Championship, and then ended up playing a bit more for Man U, and then Crystal Palace played for him, and he was really a backup for them. So they've gone on a £15 million loss, uh, which could end up being a £4 million loss in the end. Um, but yeah, good transfer there. Hopefully he'll do a good job for us. But yeah, um, we got games to play. We've got two games against Leon, a game against Liverpool in the UEFA Super Cup. Hopefully we can win both of those cup, cup, cups. I'm saying it all weird. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can re win in the three champions and the UEFA Super Cup. Um, but we'll have to figure it out until the next part we show. So yeah, see you for that in a bit. So more transfers have happened. So we've loaned out a load of players. Um, only one really I've known that was in the first team was Matthias Orban. He was unhappy because he wasn't playing enough. And so yeah, the Dirt Football decided to loan him out to uh, uh, Ren. Um, all the players were two and a half star. Uh, or two star in the team, I think. Um find him, I saw him a second ago, Amrit Payne was a two star, um, Belgoy Bel Bel um, was a two star, and so was Ruggeri, um, but yeah, they could have been news this year, um, but Dread Football's decided to loan them out to big clubs in the other leagues, so hopefully they'll get, get a game time there, kind of shows you how good we are that we're learning two star players who would be fringe players with us to buy Leverkusen and Valencia um, kind of goes and shows you and Villarreal kind of goes and shows you how far we've grown since we joined the Lille um, so good work on the football good work on really us and the tactics which has been the same tactic which has been the same tactic since we started to save at the Lille knock off that little bit well, we tried what? I think I still got it here. Yeah, we tried this. We tried five attacking four uh, mid attacking players, four attacking midfielders, and one DM, and it just didn't work out. We replaced the sack. Um, I bet Lil are glad they didn't sack us now, because yeah, we won the league. Uh, every player to join us since then is Julius Flotman, a uh, youngster, one and a half star, three and a half star, under the thing, and could get really, really good. Uh, hopefully he does, but he won't be around for when we are le leaving the club. So yeah, he'll is for the club to do in the next save if it lasts up to like 24 when he'll be in his prime. But results. So in the preseason, we won the first two games against Antwerp and Epinal. Uh, I don't know who an Epinal were for. The fourth tier are is that fourth tier? Yeah, fourth tier of France. Uh, we then ended up getting thrashed to St. Louis 4-1 uh, in the MLS team and then lost to Porto, who we'd just beaten, you could say, in the Champions League final. So yeah, I don't understand that. But thankfully, it didn't continue over to the competitive games because we beat Leon 5-1 to uh, win the trophies this Champions um, we then also then drew against Leon in the first game of the season, beat Liverpool on penalties in the UEFA Super Cup, so we won another trophy. It's the second time I think Neil Brannan's won the UEFA Super Cup, and we also there in the Liverpool game got an achievement for winning 20 uh, major trophies, which 
which is always good to say. Uh, or, or twenty something, or twenty trophies overall, um, which in her in a season in a save, which I hadn't done before in this game um, cycle. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, we unbeat Carl one 0 Marseille one two one, Ren we drew one one, Wingant we won three 0 Stad Ren we won two 0 West Ham in the UEFA Champions League we won one 0 and Saint Etienne we've just recently won two one. Uh, the other games in the Champions League are Feyenoord, Apoel, Crystal Palace, Juventus, RB Leipzig, Antwerp, and Sporting CP. So I think we can qualify from that without even having to go through a knockoff play around like we did last year. Uh, I think we're that good, especially if we can beat teams like West Ham that are still technically the best side in the world uh, through reputation and through club coefficients and all that stuff. But yeah, um, currently we're top of the league, 17 points, uh, two points behind us are recently promoted side to league, which is quite crazy that they're doing that well. Uh, yeah, as you can see, they were recently promoted this season. And uh, did they even win uh, the second tier? Uh, no, they didn't even win it, so they got through a second place. It was Green Gam that actually won the title. And they're uh, 1,000 to 1 or 2 to 150 to 1. So I don't know if that's from the start of the season or if they just have that good a squad. I don't know if the transfers have been good or whatnot, but certainly working out for them considering they're second so far. Uh, and it's currently yours and Tulu that are the front runners for. Early part of the season, we're still undefeated, so it's coming up to like 50 games undefeated now in the league, which is just crazy. If we can get 50 goal, if we can get if we can get 50 games undefeated in the league, I'll be so happy. Uh, I don't think I've ever done that before. Uh, I've always ended up losing close to the 50 goal of uh, 50 games. So hopefully we can actually get over the line this time and get actually be 50 games undefeated. But yeah. Uh, that is enough for this episode, so if you have enjoyed it, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel as well for more FM24 content. And hit the bell as well, so you never miss an upload on this channel. Anyway, I've been Matthew, also known as Summer Hex, and I'll see you all next time. Hex, sound out. Bye everybody.